Hii ni Elimu Mtandaoni TV. Mimi naitwa Michael Chalange. Karibu katika lecture ya Physics. I am known as Engineer Chalange or uh, mtaalamu wa A level physics. Today I'll be teaching you uh, Kichofu laws. Kichofu laws is found in the topic of current electricity. Current electricity is the form 6 topic. And normally it occurs in a section B of paper one, uh, question number, number number nine and question number ten. While I'll be teaching, I'll be just mixing uh, English and uh, uh, Kiswahili. So, uh, Kitchen of Laws. Uh, normally, Kitchen of Laws is used to solve a complicated circuit or complex circuit. Complicated circuit or a complex uh, circuit. Nikisema complex circuit na manisha ni zile uh, circuit ambazo zina consist uh, uh, zaidi ya battery moja ambazo zimekuwa connected uh, in parallel na hizo battery zinakuwa ni za uh, different value of uh, EMF. Asa, kitchen flows ziko mbili. Kitchen flows zipo mbili. Kuna kitchen of first law na kuna kitchen of uh, second law. I'll be starting with the kitchen of first law. Kitchen of first law. Kitchen of uh, first law. Kitchen of first law is also known as KCL. Kitchen of first law is no is also known as KCL. By KCL means kitchen of current law. Means kitchen of uh, current law. KCL means kitchen of current law. KCL in a state that the current, the summation of the current entering any junction is equal to the summation of the current leaving the junction. Narudia tena. The current, the summation of the current entering any junction is equal to the summation of the current leaving the junction. Number niyandiki hapa. Okay. Uh, let's say umeme unaingia katika junction. This is current I. He, this is a, a junction. Manake ni, ni kisema junction na manisha point ambapo umeme una divide. Point where the current divide. Kwa current inenda huku. Let's say this current is I1. Na umeme mungina unenda huku. Tuwite umeme ni I. I2. So, law in a state kwamba, the sum of current entering any junction is equal to the sum of the current leaving the junction. Umeme unoingia kwenye junction ambo junction yetu yapa, umeme ni I. Na ule unotoka ni I1 na I2. Kwa hapa nato tukasema, I1 plus I2. The sum of the current entering any junction is equal to the sum of the current leaving the junction. Ila, Kuna another way ya kustate KCL. KCL, pia tunaweza tuka state hivi. The sum of current, the sum of currents, the sum of currents at any junction, at any junction, at any junction is equal, is equal to zero. The sum of currents, the sum of current at any junction is equal to zero. Naomba nirudi hapa katika mcholo wangu wa mwanzo kabisa mboni ilichola. Umemo na ingeo kwenye junction ni I. Umemo na otoka ni I1 na I2. Kutokana na statement hii, ambodo nasema the sum of current at any junction is equal to zero. Hii na manisha hivi. If I take I, nikajumlisha I1, nikajumlisha na I2, the sum is equal to zero. Kwa hiyo kumbe... KCL unazo kai state katika namna ya kwanza tulo state na KCL pia unazo kai state katika namna ya pili. Hii lo, kwa sababu tunasema the sum of the, the, sum of the current at any junction is equal to zero. Ukiangalele ya kwanza na ya pili zote zinazungumzia nini? Junction. Kwa hiyo KCL vile vile inajulikana kama junction rule. Vile vile inajulikana kama junction rule. Kwa hiyo kwenye mtiani, ukiambiwa 
state junction rule maana yake anakuambia state kitch of first law kwa lugha nyingine anakuambia state kitch of current law sasa KCL ambayo ni first law ina implication yake ina implication yake tunasema implication 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 au kwa lugha nyingine in another language you call it significance of KCL nikisema implication inamaanisha kwamba KCL ina implies kitu gani inatupa information juu ya kitu gani tumesema remember remember kwamba tunajua wote tunaelewa kwamba sawa kwa mtu yote anayesoma alisoma physics anaelewa kwamba uh, q ni sawa sana it the quantity of charge the quantity of charge is equal to to, to, to current times time nikiweka summation same zote alama ya summation sum of charge ni sawa sana sum of it naomba tuitoe t nje nikitoa t nje itakuwa ni ni, ni t uh, summation of i according to kcl junction rule junction rule this is i this is i1 and this is i2 kumbuka tulivyo state mara kwanza the sum of current ile mara ya pili the sum of current at any junction is equal to zero this means that summation ya i ni sawa sawa na zero katika nini katika junction nikirudisha hapa maana yake hivi at junction at junction summation of charge is equal to t times summation of current and at junction summation of current is equal to what to zero so this means that summation of charge at junction is equal to zero kwa hiyo inamaanisha kumbe hapa katika junction hapa hakuna charge zozote hii inamaanisha hivi charge zinazoingia ni sawa sawa na charge zinazotoka kwa sababu kwa sababu tumesema hapa katika junction summation of charge ni sawa sana zero kwa charge zinazoingia ni sawa sana charge zinazotoka kwa lugha nyingine hiyo tunaita nini conservation of charge kwa sababu hakuna charge zizopotea charge zinazoingia ni sawa sana charge zinazotoka hakuna charge yoyote inayopatikana katika junction kwa hiyo ukiambiwa utaje implication if you are told to 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 to, to state or to say the, or to write the implication of kcl unasema kwamba the implication of kcl kcl implies the conservation of charges kcl uh, implies the conservation of charges kama kcl anatuambia kumbe kuna conservation of charge hakuna charges zinazopotea zinazoingia ni sawa sawa na charges zinazotoka kwa hiyo kcl implies the conservation of charges Naomba naomba tuingie kichofu second law. Kichofu kichofu second law. Kichofu second law is also known as kichofu voltage law. Kichofu second law is also known as kichofu voltage law, KVL. Kichofs Kichofs voltage law. Kichofu voltage law Sasa tuangalie Kichofu voltage law yenyewe yenyewe inasemaje uh, kwanza kabla sijaelezea kichofu voltage law naomba tuangalie term moja inaitwa loop Tukisema loop tunamaanisha kwamba ni closed path Nikisema loop loop unamaanisha kwamba it's a closed uh, closed path that is loop Kwa hiyo Nikichola mfano sakiti yangu hapa chukulia hii hapa ni resistor R1 uh, nina battery hapa this is E1 uh, I have another resistor R2 na nina battery hapa lingine ambao this is what E E2 uh, naomba ni label A B C D kwao nikiambiwa hapa nitaje jina la loop nitasema loop A B C D A sawa ndugu zangu hapo Nikisema nitaje jina la loop itakuwa ni A B C D A. Kwa hiyo name loop yangu. Loop ni A B C D A. Asa kicho of voltage law inasema nini? Inasemaje? Kicho of voltage law inasema hivi. In any closed loop, in any closed loop, the algebraic sum of electromotive force is equal to the algebraic sum of potential 
difference. Narudia. In any closed loop, the algebraic sum of electromotive force is equal to the algebraic sum of potential difference. Okay? Naomba niandike yu statement ya low alafu niandike alafu niyeleze. Shukuru. Kumbuka nikisema electromotive force ninamaanisha kwamba ni voltage across the cell. Voltage katika hizi batteries. Hapo ndo namaanisha electromotive force. Nikisema potential difference ninamaanisha kwamba ni voltage across the resistors. Sawa. Voltage across the resistor. Kwa hiyo kwa hiyo EMF ni voltage ya hizi battery, potential difference ni voltage across nini resistor. Kwa according to the statement of the law, uh, the sum of electromotive force is equal to the to the sum of potential difference. Hii inamaanisha hivi, sum ya EMF ni sawa sawa na sum ya potential difference. That is the statement of the of the of the second law. Okay? Ila kuna namna nyingine ya kustate kicho of voltage law kuna namna nyingine unaweza kustate hivi ama ukastate katika namna ya pili kicho of voltage law vile vile ina state hivi in any closed loop in any closed loop the algebraic sum the algebraic sum of electromotive force the algebraic sum of electromotive force and the potential difference and the potential difference is equal to zero is equal to zero kwa hiyo kumbe tunaweza tuka state katika namna ya kwanza ile na vile vile tunaweza tuka state katika namna ya pili na zote ziko applicable inasema hii statement inasema is algebraic sum of emf and potential difference is equal to zero kwa unaweza kustate hivi au ile ya mwanzo ambao nimekuwa na izungumzia as a kicho of second law na yenyewe pia ina implication yake ina implication yake unaweza uka subscribe katika channel yangu ya youtube Elimu Mtandaoni TV vile vile napatikana katika Instagram, Facebook na na Twitter kwa Elimu Mtandaoni